Good morning, Lénès. Bonjour, chers étudiants, chers apprenants. Um, today, we are going to talk about, uh, to discuss somebody, décrire quelqu'un. And uh, the following points are what we are going to discuss. Lecture de dialogue, demander des informations sur quelqu'un, décrire une personne, la description physique, les qualités, les défauts, les articles, articles indéfinis, articles définis, et enfin, les adjectifs possessifs. So these are the main points that we are going to discuss, which is a reading of the dialogue, action information about somebody, to describe someone, and the description, we have three main parts of them, which is the quality, physical description, quality, and then the defects. You also look at articles, indefinite article and definite article. And then finally, we talk about possessive adjectives in French. So first dialogue. Comment est ton ami Jules? Jules est clair, grand et mince. Il a les cheveux courts. Il est calme et sympathique. Oui. Jules est calme et très enthousiaste. Dialogue 2, which is second dialogue. Comment est ta camarade Ramatou? Ramatou est noire, mince et grande. Elle est très gentille avec tout le monde. Oui, Ramatou est une amie d'enfance. So from the dialogue, you may want to ask information about somebody, okay? How is he or how is she? Poser la question and then you have la réponse, the answers. Comment est-il? Okay, and when it's a female, you have elle est comment? Okay, so il est plus adjectives or elle est plus adjectives. So ADJ is the short form of adjective. Example. Comment est Ama? And the response is, Ama est mince et grande. Ama est slim and tall. Posez la question. This one go with the height, la taille et la forme and the form. Il est grand ou petit? And the answer is, il est grand. Or you can say, il est petit. Il fait combien de mètres? Which is the measure in terms of height. Il fait un mètre? 60 or 1,60 meters. So 1,6 meters tall. La forme, il est gros ou mince? Elle est grosse ou mince? And the answer will be, il est mince or elle est grosse. With respect to the complexion, which is le teint, we can say, quel est son teint? Or elle a Quel teint? Okay? So, which is the color, the complexion? And the response? Il est clair or il est noir? Elle est claire or elle est noir? Il a un teint clair? Elle a un teint clair? So, when the color is related to adjectives, for example, il est noir or il est clair or elle est claire, you see, it respects the gender and then you may have to adjust the adjective either for masculine or a feminine. It all depends on the person you are describing. Let's come to the questions again. Quelle est la couleur des cheveux? What is the color of the hair? So, il a les cheveux noirs or il a les cheveux bruns, il a les cheveux gris. Okay? You have black hair, brown hair or gray hair. So they bring us to décrire in person, to describe somebody, meaning we are going to use adjective to describe them. And first of all, we have la description physique. So I'm going to mention the adjective for male and female. Il est grand, il est petit, il est gros, il est vieux, il est beau, il est laid, il est clair, il est joli, il est noir, il est mince, il est jeune. And the female is, elle est grande, elle est petite, elle est grosse, elle est vieille, elle est belle, elle est laide, elle est claire, elle est jolie, elle est noire, 
elle est mince, elle est jeune. So reading both adjectives, masculine and feminine, you can say grand and the female is grande. Petit, petite, gros, gros, grosse, vieux, vieille, beau, belle, laid, laid, clair, clair, joli, joli, noir, noir, mince, mince, jeune, jeune, and have the English attached to it. Les qualités, so talking about people's quality, we have sympathique, so we add the female also sympathique, gentille, gentille, intéressant, intéressante, intelligent, intelligente, amusant, amusante, poli, poli, respectueux, respectueuse, courageux, courageuse, calme, calme, aimable, aimable, tolérant, tolérante. So this go the qualities. Let look at the defect. Antipathique, antipathique, timide, timide, ennuyeux, ennuyeuse, paresseux, paresseuse, nerveux, nerveuse, lent, lente, bavard, bavard, méchant, méchante, irrespectueux, irrespectueuse, intolérant, intolérante, insouciant, insouciante. So these are defects of bad people. Remarks. As we said earlier on, with respect to adjective, when it, the male, uh, it is a male person, we are describing the adjective also become male. When it's a female, the adjective become female. That's why we have this conclusion here saying, les adjectives qualifient le nom, ils s'accordent en genre et en nombre. Adjectives agree in gender and in number. Example, ce garçon est grand et beau. Cette fille est grande et belle. So in the first sentence, this, this boy is tall and handsome. So it becomes, this girl is tall and beautiful. So you see, even in English, we have handsome and beautiful. It changes, depending on the gender. Now, the number two, les enfants sont gentils. So you have seen gentil takes S because enfant is plural. That's why I put the S at enfant in red, and then I will repeat the S in red for the adjectives. Now, exercise one. Faites deux phrases dont chacune porte sur la description physique, la qualité et le défaut d'une personne que vous connaissez bien. So you are going to describe somebody that you know very well, okay? And in describing the person, you talk about the physical appearance, the quality the person has, and also the defect of the person. Here we have the physical description into blue and the qualities into yellow and the defect in green, if you have observed it very well. And I'm reading. Kofi est grand et mince. Il est clair. Il est amusant et très gentil. Mais il est timide et paresseux. So you use this example to also describe somebody that you want to describe. We are going to talk about article, and the first article that we will mention will be the indefinite article, okay, l'article indéfini, okay, for example, a boy, a girl, have you seen that one, but in French we have un, and then une, for female, and the plural of un is de, the plural of une also is de. If you have the definite article, we have the le for masculine and la for female. Nevertheless, for masculine and female, we also have L apostrophe, okay? And the L apostrophe come in when the le or la is following a noun with a vowel. In this case, we cancel the E of the le and put apostrophe there. Now, so we have le L apostrophe or A L apostrophe for masculine and female. And the plural of le or L apostrophe is le, which is L E S. Now, remark. In front of a noun beginning with a vowel, we write L apostrophe instead of le or la. Example, le ami. Have you seen the le? There's e, the ami start with the vowel a. Okay, so it becomes, you cancel the le, the e of the le, then you put apostrophe there, then you have now l'ami. Okay, we have another example, le, then enfant. 
So it becomes l'enfant. We don't say le enfant, no. So instead of writing le enfant, which is wrong, we say l'enfant. Très bien. Now let's move to the possessive adjectives. And since we mention adjective, we may have masculine and female, then the plural. So we have mon, ton, son, ma, ta, sa. For the mon is mine, ton is your, son is his or hers. Okay, her or his. Now the female of mon, ton, son becomes ma, ta, sa. And the plural is me, te, se. The above possessive adjectives are used when one or many things belong to an individual. We also have the plural aspect of the possessive adjective, which is notre, votre, leur. And the plural is nos, vos, leur. Notre, votre, leur, nos, vos, leur. The above possessive adjectives are used when one or many things belong to a group. For example, our father, notre père, okay? Notre père travaille. Leurs amis sont en France, okay? Their friends are in France. Thank you for coming for this session. I wish you a nice day. Bye-bye, and see you next week. This one, how many minutes?